Hello everybody, this is Josh Cavalier with Lodestone, and today I want to show you round trip audio editing between Captivate 5.5 and Adobe Audition. And I'm going to take out some background noise in my audio using Adobe Audition. I'm going to start here in Captivate. I'm just going to select this first slide here. And I'm going to record to this slide. I'm just going to record just some sample audio. Hit the record button. And it'll give me the countdown here. This is a multiple choice question. Make your selection and hit the submit button. You can see that the levels in my audio are very low. Now I can do some editing here in Captivate. I'll click on the Edit tab, go down to Adjust Volume. I'm going to normalize my audio and click OK. That's a little bit better. You can see that in addition to the volume increasing, I also have some noise in the background here. I can see that as part of the waveform in this area. And I want to take that background noise out. Well, you can't quite do it here in Captivate, but you can do it with Adobe Audition. Now, if you purchase the eLearning Suite and you have Adobe Audition, you can use both these tools together. I'm going to click Edit with Adobe Audition. And I'm going to switch over. Here's my audio file, and I'm now going to reduce that noise. The first thing I have to do is just select the part of my audio file that represents the noise. I'll go to Effects, Noise Reduction, Capture Noise Print. And we'll click OK. I'm then going to select all of my audio by hitting Control A, Effects, Noise Reduction, Noise Reduction Process. Now I'm just going to keep the default settings here and hit Apply. And look at that cleaned audio. Now, to get it back in Captivate, we'll go File, Save, I'll close out of Audition, click OK, and my cleaned up audio file is now back in Captivate. And that's it. I can then go ahead and save my work, close out of the window, and work through. And that's how you clean up background noise going from Captivate to Adobe Audition.